Lake Malawi, home to one of the most biodiverse freshwater ecosystems in the world, has long faced the challenges of overfishing and habitat degradation. With a lot of support from the Department of Fisheries, local communities, the USAID funded Refresh Project and other fisheries related projects, today Lakeshore fishing communities are leading efforts to protect this rich biodiversity, taking ownership and ensuring a sustainable future for their fisheries. The motivation for the Refresh Project was based on the fact that our fishery in Lake Malawi supports quite a large number of livelihoods. The project started on 1st October 2019 and it will end on September 30, 2024. We are implementing in Lake Malawi Lakeshore districts, Mangochi, Deza, Tsarima, Nkota Kota, Katabe, Rumpi, Karonga and Likoma Island. We thought that we should target these eight districts so that we can work with them closely. The local communities are the primary owners of this unique biodiversity as well as the, uh, the fishery. Since 2019, one of the main focus of the Refresh project has been to support the crucial amendments to Malawi's Fisheries Conservation and Management Act of 1997. Even though the final approval process was paused pending a review of the National Fisheries and Aquaculture Policy, the Refresh Project did not stop there. They moved on and facilitated a comprehensive review of fisheries regulations. To date, the regulations have been validated for submission to Ministry of Justice. The Refresh Project has also empowered district councils across the eight Lakeshore districts to boost their revenue by incorporating potential fisheries revenue streams in their local revenue enhancement strategic plans. The project also provided 40 e-ticketing gadgets to six district councils, Salima, Nkotagota, Katabe, Karonga, Rumpi, and Likoma. Councils are now empowered and are experiencing increased revenue collection and greater transparency in revenue collection processes. This transparent process has not only increased revenue, but also built confidence among vendors and improved monitoring of revenue collectors' performance. To protect our fisheries, the Refresh Project enhanced enforcement capacity across the Lakeshore districts. Officers have been trained using enforcement standard operating procedures and equipped with knowledge and skills to implement enforcement activities. The piloting that was done in the selected zero tolerance sites, Mangochi and Salima, showcased the importance of well-planned and resourced enforcement activities to preserve vital resources. In partnership with local communities and beach village committees, Refresh has facilitated the establishment and management of over 250 community-managed fish sanctuaries across districts like Salima, Mangochi, Deza, and Nkotakota. These sanctuaries provide crucial refugia for fish species, allowing them to breed, 
feed and thrive in protected habitats. The success of these sanctuaries isn't just about their creation, but in fostering long-term stewardship. Through a co-management approach, Refresh and its partners have empowered communities to take ownership of the monitoring and management of these sanctuaries. Using both traditional methods and innovative technology, communities have become key players in protecting their fisheries. To improve monitoring efforts, Refresh introduced groundbreaking technology with the ROUV, a remote operated vehicle that allows scientists and local communities to observe underwater habitats in real time. Although this ROUV is operated by trained researchers, local community members are actively involved and keenly observe the monitoring experience gaining first-hand exposure to their underwater environment. This connection has deepened their understanding of the importance of these sanctuaries and their role in preserving the lake's future. Just one year after establishing baseline data, local communities have reported significant improvements in fish catches near the sanctuaries. Fish species thought to have disappeared are re-emerging, including the prized jumbo fish. The 2023 Biomass Trawl Survey confirmed that fish stocks, particularly jambo, are being rebuilt. Through the REFRESH project, communities around Lake Malawi have become leaders in protecting fish biodiversity. These sanctuaries not only support sustainable fisheries today, but they also safeguard the future for generations to come. Refresh worked to empower local fisheries management authorities, building their capacity through a six-step co-management approach. These LFMAs signed management agreements with the Director of Fisheries to facilitate sustainable fisheries management. Today, LFMAs are operationalizing their agreements, creating sustainable mechanisms for ecosystem-based fisheries management, like developing self-financing mechanisms, creating community-led sanctuaries, conducting community-led enforcement patrols. For generations, fishing has been the lifeblood of communities along Lake Malawi. It has provided food, income, and a way of life. But as the demand for fish has grown, the reality of declining catches and increased food insecurity has become all too clear. Poverty has deepened and alternative livelihoods have seemed out of reach. Through the REFRESH project, fishing communities have discovered new, profitable livelihoods beyond fishing. Partnering with 15 conservation enterprises, these communities have embraced new roles in value chains such as cassava, chili, rice and groundnut production. Women and youth have ventured into beekeeping, horticulture and ecotourism. These businesses have opened doors for job creation and income growth, providing guaranteed markets for their produce. 
Not only has the Refresh project diversified livelihoods, but it has also enhanced the value of the fisheries sector. Fish processors, traders, and aspiring entrepreneurs have embraced climate smart methods, reducing post-harvest losses and improving the quality of fish products. These new practices have allowed them to achieve more from less, benefiting both the environment and their incomes. The project has identified 70% of champions out of the targeted champions, such as local political members, council planners, and influential community figures. And these have played a great role in lobbying for key policy implementation issues, such as resource allocations to fisheries sectors, ensuring that local fisheries are now front and center in council planning documents. The Refresh project also focused on engaging and empowering the media. Training 85 media representatives, including 17 community radio stations from Lake Malawi districts, the project ensured that fisheries issues reached local audiences. By promoting accurate reporting, the media became champions of ecosystem-based fisheries management, amplifying the voices of fishing communities and raising awareness. Refresh took the message of sustainable fishing to the masses. Billboards in major cities raised awareness about the dangers of purchasing juvenile fish while market visits educated traders and consumers alike on how illegal fish sizes fuel overfishing. Together, these efforts began to reduce demand for immature fish, contributing to long-term sustainability of Lake Malawi's fisheries. Recognizing the importance of youth engagement, the project worked with local artists to compose a fisheries conservation song. With Malawi's population predominantly young, this initiative reached over 70% of the Lakeshore District communities. The song encouraged youth to take responsibility for the future of Lake Malawi, raising awareness of illegal fishing practices and promoting sustainable livelihoods. As fishermen embrace new skills and explore diverse opportunities, fishing pressure on Lake Malawi will gradually reduce. With healthier ecosystems, sustainable fisheries, and more resilient communities, the future is brighter. The Refresh Project has laid the foundation for a new way of life. One built on sustainability, empowerment, and economic growth for the Lakeshore communities. Through these key achievements, the Refresh Project has made lasting impacts on fisheries management in Malawi. Together, we are ensuring a brighter, more sustainable future for our communities and ecosystems. <music>